Hello guys, it's Joy and Sebi and my dad here. Hey guys. Hey everybody. And today we're back with our Cosmos. We have classic Cosmo in his red treads and Cosmo Collector's Edition in his black standard treads. And today we're here to show you guys a cool new update that Anki has released to us. It is the uh, education update. Yeah, and it's been out for a little while and we didn't really know it was there. And one day someone told us it was there and it's a pretty good update. Sebi, why don't you show... What we don't like about Cosmo when we turn him on. So we have to do a play, a tune-up, and a feed. And if you don't do it, Cosmo's very sad. And with the new update, you can disable it. Yes, and we did have a recent video where Cosmo was really sad. And comment after comment after comment was... Why is he sad? Why is he sad? And you need to tune him up. And he's singing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. So Joanne's gonna show it with our Amazon Fire tablet. Show how you enable the... So once you're on the main screen, you just hit this button up in the top right okay. corner, and then you scroll to where it says, enable EDU mode, and you click that button. And you're enabling yes. education mode. And education mode puts the focus on learning and creating. Go back to that real Cosmo quick. Cosmo education mode. Oh, and it shows Cosmo education mode. Real quick, go back to that. It says it puts the focus on learning and creating with Cosmo and Code Lab. Start directly in Code Lab. Pair specific cubes with a Cosmo. Pause, feed, repair, and play meter. So we no longer need to use those. So why don't you enable education mode on your Cosmo as well? And it's really good for schools, especially for people or schools or any educational facility that has more than one Cosmo. Why? Because you don't really want to sit there and feed, play, and tune them up for the first five minutes, which is something we don't like doing, right? Actually feed it takes a long, a long time with all the cubes. With all the cubes to figure it out, with the feeding and stuff like that. It does take a lot of work and it takes away from time from just being able to turn them on and start coding and start using them. All right, so now we have all nine cubes out on the table from all three of our Cosmos. We only have two Cosmos out, and we're going to show you guys how they have implemented a new way to identify which cubes are for your Cosmo when you have a lot of cubes like this, and you have no clue which ones are which, and they're all lighting up different colors. Right, so right now, how many are lit up blue? Four. And green. And we have green. no idea which cubes belong to which Cosmo. But Julian is going to show us. What do you got here? In the same button in the top right corner, you scroll to where the cube status is, and you hit identify cubes, and All you right. choose a color, and then it will blink. So you're going to pick a color, and it's going to blink. I'm so let's do purple. Let's little work. Let's see. How many are blinking purple? This one, this one, and this one. All right, so that is Cosmos Cubes. And Sebi, what are you going to do? I'll make them. Um, Hopefully the purple ones won't green. be blinking green. And you got your green. So One, just two, like three. that. And those go to the other Cosmo. And that goes to the other Cosmo. So if you were to have 10 Cosmos and mm -hmm. how many cubes? 10 Cosmos, 30 cubes. Oh, good job, Julian. Good job with the math, Dad. He's laughing. And you could just easily, did Sebi just change the color on? No, it's just no, it's turned it on. Oh, but you could easily identify the cubes now with the education mode. So if you had a whole box of cubes and a whole box of Cosmos, and you didn't know which went to which, it doesn't matter anymore, because now you can just identify with colors. Julian, why don't you try another set of colors? Let's just see what they look like. You're blinking. There's white. White, very nice. So it looks Actually, like blue. Red. Looks, does look a little blue. There's yellow. red, yellow. And Sebi's going with his colors, and Purple, Julian's going yeah. with his colors. Yeah, yeah. And now we Rainbow. know whose cubes belong to who. Pretty good. So I think that's it with Education Mode. I don't think there's anything else, unless we're missing something, and Julian's just making rainbow colors right now, and Sebi's making rainbow mm -hmm. colors right now. And the Cosmos are kind of just hanging out because now they're waiting for commands, right? Yes. Now they're back to normal again, doing whatever they want to do. And it's easy to identify the cubes. So there it is, education mode. Really simple, really good for people like us. Are we gonna leave our Cosmos in education mode? Yeah. Are we ever gonna tune them up again? No. <laughs> we never have to? Yeah. And if he's really sad and quiet and crying, you're trying to do a bro fist with him? Yeah, but it's not cooperating. There you go. There he is. Nice, Julian. 
Yeah. Very good. So we also have another Vector update coming. We're going to show you guys some of the new stuff Vector in our next video. But there it is. Nice, simple video. The Cosmo Education Mode. And uh, Cosmo continues to get updated. We'll continue to show you probably monthly updates with Cosmo. What's new? What's happening? What's going on? Any new games? Any new games on there anyway? We haven't even looked yet. Let's see what the latest game is. Why don't you There's flip no that regular games, but in code line. Code line. Flip that around real quick, see what we got. Anything new? We haven't turned them on in a couple days. What do we got? Future projects. Oh, oh. Roll to the goal. We did those already. And the game show. So those are the last two. And we know they keep getting at it all the time. So we'll keep checking back and look for some more Cosmo videos coming soon. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time. Peace out. Bye. Bye. Later, everybody.